Okay, I built this uh, track sled for under $500. I will put a list of all the uh, parts I use, links to purchase parts in the description below. Um, some of the things I did have on hand and I got for nothing, uh, the donor sled with the track itself and uh, the gearing, the cogs and suspension and everything was uh, I got for free. It was a Yamaha Ovation. Uh, it's a short track, a 108 inch track, so that's really nice. Uh, doesn't give you a lot of cargo area, but it's light and it turns easy. So let's go over it real quick. We'll just start basic sled, of course, I had that, so we're not counting that. Um, hitch, just some square stock tubing. I actually had some of that tubing laying around. I had everything to build this, so there's no charge on that. Mud flap was a tractor trailer mud flap I cut down. Uh, frame is built out of square one by one tubing. I did buy two pieces of this. I only needed two four foot lengths. I bought two of these, I think it was $17 or so for each. And that's included in the cost below. These tubings here are actually 16 gauge, same as the, the one inch, 16 gauge, one by two. I had a bunch of this laying around. It was from old store racking from an old Walmart. So that worked out perfect having that. I used a few pieces of that for all my cross members. Steel plates, I had some steel plating, some diamond plate. These are all diamond plate actually, they're turned around. So I used diamond plate on all these mounts. There's more of the two by two stuff there. Lots of basic framework. The gearing I used from the original sled. It's a double chain. I did have to purchase a, uh, a double chain master link to shorten this up. And I used the stock tensioner and built a bracket out of some angle iron and used the stock bolt. And it's all mounted to there. Bearings. I got my pillow block bearings, different styles, and I have the ones down here. I purchased all of them. They're in the link. Sprocket and uh, adapter. I think that's a uh, 37 tooth I went there. Might be 38, I forget. I'll put that in the description as well. Ammo can box. I didn't fill it up yet, but I'm going to put tools in there. Extra belt, extra plug, extra pull cord, things like that you might need. If it breaks down um, these mounts I had I figured I could put my spud bar between them this is the predator 224 motor Harbor Freight it's a knockoff comet clutch Put my wiring for my throttle cable runs up the bars the bars are made out of three-quarter inch uh, galvanized piping same as black pipe but it's galvanized so I figured it won't rust this cage I made out of half inch conduit and some mesh grating, some landscape trailer grating, welded to it, bent the conduit up. Got mounts here for my auger. Had them on an old ATV, so I just moved them over. Um, I did change my exhaust around. I cut off the flange. I bought this flange on Amazon. The link will be for that. And I re-welded it so that it angled this way because stock and then goes straight back the exhaust here so whatever's in here it gets hot you're gonna melt things so I have it angled out this way the exhaust actually comes out from the bottom right here right there so it's blowing down now instead of blowing into the cage these are old uh, Huffy bicycle balloon tire bicycle handlebars I just welded to the Three quarter inch pipe and I use a for my throttle it's a brake a brake lever for a bicycle kill switch like I said all the parts used that I purchased will be down below but that's basically it short track 224 predator with comet knockoff clutch and uh, it's got that cage the cage actually removable I got a couple of cotter keys, cotter pins here. If you want to take it off, pull the car keys, it'll pull up. It's on studs that come up to about here. But that's basically it. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some LED lighting inside the box. I'm going to put a battery. But let's see how she rips.
So let me know what you guys think down in the description below. Any questions? Any comments? Got covered in snow pretty quick. But yeah, it's going to do great. Thanks for watching.